Today we are going to be talking about human locomotion's twist disc. We know how important controlling rotation is in not only the gait cycle, but being able to work in this transverse plane. By utilizing this disc, we can really target all different areas of the lower extremity. So we're gonna demo these for you. We're gonna start up at the hip. So I'm gonna take the disc and I'm going to place my foot at a 45 degree angle on the disc. From here, I'm just going to drive my leg out and in. Okay, we like to shoot for about 50 reps. Okay, so about 50 reps here. You're gonna really feel some activation in the outside of that hip. If you need more resistance, you can spin the disc around till you hear that click. And now I'm going to do it into that click and that's going to be max resistance. When I'm doing this, I'm getting activation of biceps femoris. I'm getting activation of peroneus brevis. Get excited, that's cool. And if I go into a deeper squat, I can really start to target my hip external rotators. Moving down into the knee. The disc stays in the same place. I'm going to place my foot, instead of 45 degrees toe in, I'm gonna go 45 degrees toe out. I'm going to give myself a little bit of knee flexion, about 30, 45 degrees, and I'm gonna go the other way. So we're gonna go from here. When I'm doing this, awesome for popliteus. The other fun fact here is when I am in a position of knee flexion, and you can even palpate this, you'll feel semimembranosis. Semimembranosis is key as it can pull the medial meniscus posteriorly. So this can be very important in the prevention of knee injuries. So we're gonna drive this foot in. Again, if I need max resistance, I can go till I hear the click. Same thing. The other thing you can do is slowly let this foot out. You can see how my foot is pointing straight ahead. I still have tension in the disc. This is where we can do an isometric. Awesome for popliteus here. So what I'll do is I'll continue to flex my knee until I feel where my knee feels the weakest. And then I will hold a 30 second isometric here. So again, if I go into 30 to 45 degrees of knee flexion, isometric to popliteus, also good activation, semimembranosis. If I were to straighten my leg here, I can do an isometric and you'll feel it in the hip. So, moving down into the foot. We know that tibialis posterior will get the most activation when the foot is adducted. So we'll place the foot on the disc and we will drive the toes in. We're moving the disc, we're moving the toes in you will really feel immediate activation of where the insertion is, so at the bottom of the arch, as well as up the inside of the calf. So from this position, you can also do that in more of a lunge, or if you needed more assistance, we can do this seated. You can do an isometric and hold here. You can focus on the eccentric component, so toes would come in, slowly let the toes come out. So multiple ways we can target the tissue here. And then finally, if you wanted to work core and hips, we can take the disc, put it up against the wall. If I wanted to use my external rotators, focus on external rotation, my toes are gonna go in. I'm gonna keep a straight leg and I'm just going to drive that foot out. That's awesome. You feel it immediately in the outside of your hip. Internal rotation, just go the other way. So my foot goes out, straight leg, and I'm going in. And you'll really feel that throughout the, the kinetic chain. So by using the twist disc, we can focus on rotation, external rotation at the hip. I can focus on popliteus, semimembranosis at the knee, and definitely posterior tibialis at the foot.